So Stylus released a new update yesterday, July 1st, titled the Independence Update, which brought us the new C7A2, the HK51B, the Canada skin case, some new melee weapons, some new attachments, sight colors on your guns now, which is pretty interesting, and there's a bunch of new generic weapon balance changes and some general fixes, but we're going to have to talk about that in another video. Real quick, the channel's been doing absolutely great lately, and I really do appreciate all your support. If you have been enjoying my 0-100 to series, or even this video, make sure you like, sub, everything like that, even if you want to drop a comment, tell me what you want to see on the channel, but let's hop into this. So bringing the new C7A2, I was a bit skeptical. I haven't used the gun much throughout the test place phasing of it, however, I have heard some positive and negative things about the gun. When I first tried out the gun, I was pretty impressed. It seemed relatively balanced, it had a decent close range damage, had lower damage at a range as you'd obviously expect, but the gun also had insanely good recoil, which was something that I wasn't too surprised about. A lot of guns in this game do have really good recoil, but this isn't going to be the one thing that really takes me back about this gun, but let's hop into the facts about the gun before I force my opinion onto you guys. So let's start off with the generic facts of the gun using no special ammo type, just the default gun with no attachments, no anything on it. Now to start off, the gun can four shot anywhere up to a a little over 100 studs, meaning the pinky toe, the middle finger, whatever it is, you hit them four times and they will die. And then coming into a little less than 200, but just for the sake of evenness, we're going to say at 200 or more studs, the gun turns into a six shot. It has a minimum time to kill of 0.15 seconds. So if you're within those 100 studs and you hit all headshots, you would kill in 0.15 seconds. It has a base rate of fire of 800, and it has a reload speed of 1.8 seconds, or if you mag dump, 2.6 seconds. A really fast reload time, truthfully, and I actually really enjoyed that about the gun. Now where the gun takes a questionable turn is when we put on the new ammo attachment, the CNC.45 conversion ammo. Now I'm not sure if this is only for the C7A2, I haven't looked into it, please feel free to correct me in the comments, but this is where things get really bad. When the hollow point rework first came out, I put up a lot of discussion about the MP10 and having hollow point, where that gun was able to 3 shot anywhere up to 70 studs. I considered it pretty busted and I wasn't a huge fan of that update and I believe that it did eventually get changed. However, now that we have the C7A2, this issue comes into play again. But before you guys hear my full opinion on it, let's just list the stats and you guys can make up your opinion as we go. So on paper, with the CNC.45 ammo conversion, the gun can become a 3 shot anywhere, pinky toe, middle finger, whatever, up to 70 studs, the same as the MP10 with hollow point when it first was reworked. The other primary thing about this gun is that it can 2 shot headshot up to 70 studs. Now the gun range does change a little bit, where the gun becomes a 6 shot at 160 studs compared to at 200 studs. This in turn converts the gun from a 0.15 minimum time to kill to a 0.06 second minimum time to kill, which I will discuss later more in detail. The gun does lose a bunch of muzzle velocity, basically how fast the bullet travels, goes from 2800 to 2000. The gun also loses a lot of penetration depth, going from 0.9 studs to 0.4. However, the gun does gain a rate of fire buff going from 800 to 900 bullets per minute, and you do have the downside of getting some more recoil, which I will show on the screen right now. As you guys can see with the same attachments, which I'll have listed on screen right now, the gun with no ammo conversion is a lot more accurate than the gun with ammo conversion. But let's hop into the time to kill, which is something that I feel like really needs to be discussed. So with the CNC.45 conversion, the gun has a 0.06 second minimum time to kill, which is incredibly strong. Now doing a quick look through things as far as base guns go, this isn't considering ammo types or anything really, however most ammo types won't change the time to kill too greatly on these guns, but I'm sure there definitely is better examples out there or some arguments to this, but let's just discuss. So as for guns that can compare to the C7A2 at 70 or less studs, we're going to have to discuss what distance 70 studs really is. So as I'm going to show you here, let's zoom out. I'm going to display the two characters on Maul and you guys can truly see how far 70 studs is. As this doesn't look that big and obviously it's not perfect to scale as to what you're seeing compared to what you would see in game. This is just a general view. If you go and mock this up in game, you have your friends stand at like the same point. It will be about 70 studs. So up to 70 studs, you could three shot anywhere or two shot headshot at 900 rate of fire. Insanely powerful. To put that in perspective, the Vector can't even kill that fast, which is an extremely fast shooting gun. Now let's take something like the MAC-10, which is arguably the fastest killing gun in the game up until this point. For those of you guys who are going to make jokes about it, we are talking just automatic guns. But for the MAC-10, it can two-shot headshot, but only up to a little over 20 studs. That is no range at all. That really does not do much for you, period. Not to mention the MAC-10 has a lot more recoil than the CNC.45 ammo C7A2 in my opinion, but that's just me. 
The M4 can also two-shot headshot up to a little over 50 studs. Now where this is a little bit questionable is that the M4, if you're perfectly bursting it, sure it can have some good recoil, but the first two shots on that M4 is very hard to hit. You can also argue that the first two shots on the C7A2 are very hard to hit. I personally find aiming autos to be a little bit easier than aiming bursts, especially when those initial jumps happen. Going into the HK51B, which is another new gun to this update, it can two-shot headshot up to a little over 30 studs, about half the range of the C7A2. The MG3 KWS LMG has the same time to kill up to about 60 studs. So if you hit all headshots with the MG3 up to 60 studs, you would have that same 0.06 second time to kill. The primary issue with this is that it's mostly body shots. Three shots to the body at 900 rate of fire does not take much time at all. To give you an idea of how fast that truly is, with a 900 rate of with a 900 rate of fire, this gun shoots 15 bullets per second, meaning you can completely mag dump in about 2 seconds even. To give you guys how crazy fast that this gun is able to kill people, take something like the Beowulf ECR. If any of you guys have ever used that gun, close range it just absolutely melts, however it only has 10 bullets and a lot more recoil than this gun, making the C7A2 arguably the most dominant close to medium range AR in the game right now. And this kind of scares me, because it puts a lot of power into a not crazy amount of recoil. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely a lot more than your average AR, but it isn't anything that truly, truly makes it not want to use it. Personally, I would use a C7A2 conversion on basically any map that I play on. Maybe I would change it out if I was playing something like Ravad and I was, you know, aiming more at a distance or something like Desert and I'm going for cross map shots. But on a very generic level, this gun is monstrous at close to medium range. I feel like a little bit of tweaking to the .45 conversion ammo definitely could be done. I think that it's honestly going to be a major issue as more and more people try out this gun. The only thing that's going to honestly cap this gun from being abused as it should be is going to be the level cap. As for this gun on a usability level, and for a lot of people that always comment, oh god status, you're good at the game so you could think every gun's busted, that's not how I try to think about these things. On a general user standpoint, this gun without the CNC45 conversion ammo is very, very user friendly, has insanely good recoil, it, it does decent damage close range, it isn't anything too special, like I said, it's a 4 shot close range, however that's the same as something like the G36, but the G36 4 shots at all ranges. So without the ammo conversion, the C7A2 is nothing that should be claimed to be too special. A lot of people have compared this gun to the M16A3, but I don't necessarily fully agree with it. I mean, it is very similar, but the 45 conversion ammo giving that extreme close range damage really puts this gun way above any other gun that I would personally use. Playing on a map like Metro, this gives you the ability to have a pretty decent recoil, but also dominate those close range hallways. You don't need to rely on like something like a Tech 9 because it just isn't necessary anymore. A Tech 9 has a slower minimum time to kill than this gun. Think about that. The Tech 9 shoots at almost double the rate of fire of the base gun. It's a little bit under double the rate of fire when you had the conversion ammo on, but the Tech 9, the gun that shoots at 1500 rounds per minute, kills slower than the C7A2. Think about that. This gun is both a primary and a secondary in its own. It is both an extremely fast killing machine close range and a decently usable gun at long range. Now you aren't going to be lasering people at the same time, but it would be false to say that this gun cannot be used at range. And that's basically going to wrap it up. As you guys could see in the clips in the background there, we weren't even using the .45 conversion ammo and we were still tearing things up. It very much behaves like other guns. Obviously this isn't, what was in the background wasn't anything special. It was a really accurate gun with okay damage. It was four shot in close range six shot at range nothing too crazy on that again my main point was just discussing the 0.45 acp i made it come off as the gun was like disgustingly overpowered i think it's extremely strong but i don't think it's necessarily game breaking i just am personally not a huge fan of the gun doing that much damage and having you know not so great a recoil it's very different when we have guns like the vector that shoots a thousand rate of fire and you expect it to kill that fast or you take things like you know the beowulf ecr which has a ton of recoil but kills that fast or even the m231 which again has a ton of recoil but can kill super Super fast those things balance out more in my head but again guys please understand that these are nothing but my personal opinions please make opinions of your own do not just take what i say as fact i'm just discussing how i feel about the gun in the update overall i really do enjoy the gun i feel like minor tweaks could happen but i don't think it needs to be anything disastrous that needs to happen it could just be something simple maybe other people will feel that the gun is fine and my opinion will just be my opinion and that's okay but i hope you guys did enjoy just a reminder again i i really appreciate all the support if you enjoyed the video 
video if you enjoyed the series. If you haven't checked out the series, by the way, please do. I think a lot of people will like it. Make sure you sub, give the video a like to help push me into the algorithm and make more people see the channel. But again, thank you guys so much for all the support. I appreciate all you guys being here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.